Last week, ISP Superintendent Doug Carter called for a complete overhaul of the criminal justice system. Carter was outraged by the bond set for a man charged after a crash that killed three people on September 26th. However, the Indianapolis Bar Association pushes back against his comments. But now another police groups join in the conversation. Scarlett O'Hara has the story. Indianapolis FOP President Rick Snyder says today the city reached 900 people shot or stabbed since the beginning of this year, underscoring his and Doug Carter's message that something needs to change. This system is broken. It's badly, badly broken. Blunt comments from the leader of state police one week ago that put some members of law enforcement and the Indianapolis Bar Association at odds. Damn it, this is not okay. And I am, I, am sick. I am just so tired and so sick of it. Early Friday morning, the Indianapolis Fraternal Order of Police joined the conversation in support of Superintendent Doug Carter. Officers have been dying, residents have been dying, and Indianapolis deserves better. It began with a September 26th car crash which killed three people, for which 19-year-old Luis Leva Gonzalez now faces three counts of resisting law enforcement, resulting in death. He was given a $1,000 cash bond with a $50,000 surety bond, which outraged Carter. But Snyder says it was only the straw that broke the camel's back. I apologize for my frustration, but we have been talking about this for four years. What we need officials to do is get up off their ass and take some action. He says they want to see a balance between the safety of the public and the rights of the accused. The Indianapolis Bar Association condemned the remarks made by Carter last week, saying the resulting inferences are dangerous and that the judge set an appropriate bond given the circumstances. I would say this to the Bar Association. Rather than running around and spending so much time trying to protect your judges and your fellow lawyers, won't you get around a table and help provide some solutions and save some lives? Snyder argues the issue lies with the county bond matrix itself. Repeat violent offenders are those accused of crimes, especially with multiple victims, multiple victims that involve death, should not just get an automatic low bond. I spoke with a Hamilton County judge who weighed in on the debate. The statute in the court rule follows the Constitution of the state of Indiana and of the United States. Now, what that amount is, is always up to the discretion of the judge. 